Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are trying out celebrity makeup artist Alexis Vogel's cosmetic line. I remember using this way back when. I think I was like 21 years old. I ordered the entire kit off of an infomercial and they did like these crazy before and afters and I was like, yes, I need that. It's not your regular average makeup and I wanted like the angled thing to make the cat eye perfect and the liquid lip to make your lips look huge and it was all very exciting makeup to me at the time. I feel like you can find a lot of comparable items out there in the market now, but this is pre-YouTube. This is pre-internet, like internet, you know, Instagram explosion where we can get our hands on anything and everything and see how it works in advance. Um, but I remember patiently, scratch that, I wasn't patient. I remember impatiently waiting for my Alexis Vogel kit and I was working out of town and I remember I got home and it was way late at night. And I still opened up the sucker at like midnight and I watched the DVD and I put my makeup on right then and there. And I remember she used a fabulous roller set that I actually went out and I bought that roller set because she used it in the DVD and I wanted to mimic everything that she did. Alexis Vogel is best known for her makeup artistry on Pamela Anderson, if that kind of gives you a hint of the type of glam that I'm talking about. And some of these items I absolutely adore and love and recommend, and some of them I think they are way overpriced for what you get. So we are going to get down to every single detail. We're going to start with the lips because I feel like that's what Alexis is known for the most, these like very juicy overlined lips that don't look crazy overlined. She has a very, like, very systematic, interesting technique. And when you purchase the lip kits, you actually get a little instructional card. Really, it's like, it's a business card. It's like, here you go. So you have all of your instructions for your lip transformation application right here. And let's just go in order of what you do. Step one, you apply the Stay Pout Liquid Lip Stain. And she says to start with the bottom lip first, and then you smack them together like so, transfer a little bit of that lip stain and keep feathering it out. Then you go into the lip liner and this is where her technique really comes into play and you are gonna go slightly above the lip line. Do not get crazy with this. It is so easy to get carried away. You just want to slightly overdraw the lip line and I kind of hover in the cupid's bow area for a while and I almost feel like when you build up the creaminess and the pigment, it adds a little bit of volume. So I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then I kind of go out and almost go inward a little bit on the inner corner and then feather it in to darken the outer corner to give it a little bit of dimension. I go a little bit underneath here and same thing. I don't want a crazy overline everywhere. So figure out what works for your lip shape. And then you want to kind of feather the color in with that liquid lip stain. Then what she likes to do is take a sponge with a little bit of foundation on it. I work from a palette right here, a glass palette. So I actually just take whatever is left over, pat, pat, pat and just kind of go around my lip. This helps things to stay put and just adds, again, another layer. You do look like you're wearing a lot of lip product when you look close up in a mirror, but this does last all night long. It's like very, very foolproof. This technique does make your lips look huge and it photographs so, so beautifully. From there, you apply the coordinating lipstick and she sells lip kits and individual items. I kind of have a mix of both. I am going to share with you swatches and which products I purchased, of course. Um, what I'm wearing today is the Pro Lipstick in Bardot. These are pretty dry. They smell very similar to MAC lipsticks. This is a gorgeous color though. Look at that. It is beautiful. Um, it does have a bit of a stiff texture, but to do this technique, you almost want that. So I actually go in from the tube, or you can do it with a lip brush. It's your preference. You are then, as a final touch, going to go in with the Luminous Gloss. Now, these glosses are very special in the sense that they are frosty and pigmented and reflective, and I don't know that you would want to use this all over the lip. You can. You're living on the edge, girlfriend, go ahead. But if you want just that extra little juiciness, then just kind of dab right in the center here and make sure you go down to where you overdrawed your lips. Overdrew, overdrawed, you get me. So go like all the way up there. So you have a little bit of reflection and then it doesn't seem like you over 
through your lip line. It kind of helps conceal it. So these glosses are awesome. Again, the website does sell them in sets and they do sell them individually. I have three different shades of the glosses because this is something really special to me. I feel like this transforms any of your other lipsticks into that kind of really full pouty look. I have the shade Parfait, which is a beautiful pink, a little bit of gold in there. I have the shade Be Stung, which is the most intense of the bunch. This one is just like, whoa, 90s. Like it, but it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. And then of course, what I am wearing today, which I just showed you, Roomba. So these are all very, very beautiful. They smell great. They're nice and thick, reflective. They do exactly what you need them to do to get a very full looking pout. Let's go kind of backwards and go to the lipsticks. Now I have two lipsticks. I showed you Bardot. I also have a pinky lipstick called Barbarella. This one has a little bit of a frost to it, not much, but just a little bit. It's a nice pink. These lipsticks are very full coverage. They cancel out everything. So again, bring it up to that lip line that you kind of overdrew a little bit and kind of make sure you're going layer, 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 layer. That is the very best way to get a very full looking pout. We're gonna go to the lip liners. I have the shade Smooch and I have the shade Hickey. These are, again, it's really tough. Like I kind of want to try out this technique with different products. I, of course, am a slave to the gloss. I think it is beautiful. The lipsticks, full coverage, beautiful. Not totally necessary. The gloss I feel is necessary. The lipstick, no. Um, even though it's nice, it's not like a must, must, must have. The lip liners, they are very firm. They are more like a MAC lip liner. They are not a very gel cream type of a lip liner. So if you like that, you're not gonna like this, but the bonus of it being a little bit firmer is when you do that outline, it's not gonna reflect light. It's really going to be completely matte. You're gonna be able to build it and feather it in a way where when you are outlining your lips, it's going to look natural, even though it's a very unnatural type of a technique. So you'd be the judge on this, but if you are gonna do the outlining of your lips, make sure you pick something neutral, a little bit darker than what you're working with, and matte. The lip stains are incredible. They are not your typical liquid lipstick that is super popular right now. This is an entirely different type of product. It's not totally kiss proof or budge proof and it doesn't even go down to a full matte. It's just a very unique lip product and I really enjoy these so much that I want to order more. I have the shade Naked and I have the shade Barely. I'm wearing the shade Naked today because I went with more of a peachy theme. You can see the shade Barely goes more with this pink shade over here, and these two kind of tie in together better here. Now, let's talk about what I don't like. Ugh, I hate doing this. I, I'm really like, oh my gosh, I can't win right now. You guys know on Snapchat this morning, I'm like on no sleep. I traveled back from New York City. I was on Style Code Live on Monday. I'm gonna link that below. You can go watch the episode that I was on and let me know if you think the dress that I wore was inappropriate for my age. I really don't think so. I wore it proudly. I felt great in it. I was a little bit taken aback by some comments on Instagram, which I was just like, haters back off. Um, and I just like had my rant on Snapchat because this is my thing with makeup, hair, shoes, clothing, whatever. I don't care if you are 80. If you feel like you wanna rock something and you feel confident and you feel good, wear it, do it. If you feel hesitant and self-conscious, then maybe that's your like inner voice saying that this is not the direction I should be going in. But listen to your own gut, listen to yourself and follow you and your own heart with how you present yourself to the world, period. Okay, so back to this video. Back to hot or not. So we're gonna talk about highlighters. And the reason that I all of a sudden was like thinking of Style Code Live is because everybody was asking me what highlighter I was wearing on the show and I was wearing Lorac highlighter in daylight. So beautiful. It's gonna be in my favorites 100% for sure. I'll link that below as well. Um, and PS, before we get to this highlighter right here, I am gonna be on Style Code Live tonight not in the studio, but I am gonna have my hot product of the week. It will be on 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Pacific, and I'm doing a fabulous giveaway. It is a high ticket item, so go check it out. It will be easy to enter. There will be five winners, um, and that will be happening tonight. So 
back to the highlighter that I'm waving around in my hand right here. The issue I have with this is I saw it online and this was the item that I was most excited about. They didn't have this way back when when I originally ordered the thing off the infomercial. So when I was like perusing through every single page on the site like a stalker, I saw this and I was like, done, sold, in my basket. Because when you look at the picture, it looks so unique and you're like, that is the craziest, most beautiful highlight color I have ever seen in my life. I wait and wait and wait, I get my package, I dip my brush in the first time and do we see the difference? This is like the most crazy spray over ever. So you get like one use of this beautiful highlight and then what is underneath here is actually quite chalky and is like an eyeshadow that you would find at the drugstore that isn't good. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. I am wearing it right now and it just, it doesn't really blend that great. It's kind of chunky. I do not recommend this at all. So this is the shade Meringue and this guy right here, same thing, Brulee, same thing. Really excited because look at that color. It's like, oh my God, I have found the best highlighter ever. I was so excited. I was like, it's something different. It's something unique. I love being able to share unique stuff with my audience. And it was just really like disappointing that this is just a spray over. And it's really just chunky and thick and I don't like it. After Glow highlighters are $25 a piece. Do you know what's better? Physician's Formula. You know what's even better than that? Lorac, spend your money on Lorac because that highlight will stop traffic. Um, these, not so much. Uh, so that was just, that's my rant of being disappointed, whatever, uh, whatever. Back to being positive, let's talk about something that actually is phenomenal, smells great, makes your makeup look beautiful, is packed with great ingredients, and is really just all around great. This is the Facial Cocktail Mist nice mist on here, like nice nozzle, nice spray. It doesn't spray out chunky or weird, which I hate that when the nozzle is not nice. Kind of ruins the whole product for me, in my opinion, with facial mists because you get those droplets on your face and you're like, great, now I ruined my makeup. No fun. But this one is perfect. It smells really nice, but not overwhelming. It's not even floral. It's almost like sweet floral. It's really nice. Um, and this is $24. This has glycerin, this has different fruit extracts, and it's just really nice. It is alcohol free, and I love it. I am bathing in it, and it is in steep competition with my MAC Fix Plus because it kind of does the same thing, and I really like using this to wet eyeshadows as well. These little glitter gems right here, I want more of them. You guys know I love everything shiny right now, and I have been wearing the shade Constellation over and over and over and over. In this week's WTF, I wore this shade all over the lid. And I mean, every time I look down, it's just like light beams. It's just so pretty. I was editing it and I was just like taking a mental note, like wear that shade as often as you can. It's gorgeous. Um, these are just so, so pretty. You can pat them on for a really like nice kind of just little extra something, extra something shimmer, or you can use them wet or dry, packed more tightly with your fingertip. You really have a lot of control. So it's not like you just have to have it be super glittery and sparkly. You can do a little bit of like a shimmery top coat just by using a little dab. And she even says that you can take this, and let's try this now, I haven't tried this, and just kind of pat it on your lip for an even poutier effect. I don't know, does that look good? I'm not sure, but I like this product a lot. I also got the shade Glow Dust. This is more of a golden pinky tone versus Constellation, which is more of an icicle pink. Lip products and the sparkle and the face mist, so good. Really love them, really recommend. The other items, not so much. Um, this is kind of up there in price and you do have to go way out of your way to order it. I have admired Alexis Vogel's work for many, many years. I think she's an amazing artist and nobody does that type of a really strong cat eye, full glam look like she does. And I just, you know, so much respect. 
Um, and you know, it, there's a lot of great things in this line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to bring to you brands that aren't so well known. Um, let me know what you want to see. Give me ideas. I read all the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Style Code Live tonight. I will be there with Kuka on my lap, you know, chatting away in the live chat. So I hope to see you then. And... Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. All right, bye you guys. Mwah.